So how was the move from Los Angeles to New York City? The move from LA to New York was like beautiful because now I'm away from everyone. What made you want to come here? Too much partying and not enough working. So you've been in work mode since you've yeah, been here? Yeah, and exploring mode. There's a lot of cool things to explore out here. Like what? Churches, trees to look at, museums, I don't know, skate parks, things like that. How'd you get into skating? Just growing up in Long Beach, there's nothing to do but like skate, play basketball, or like gangbang, so. So you chose skateboarding? Good choice. Best one. What was the process of making Wish Me Well like? The process of making Wish Me Well was just locking ourselves in the studio, me and Jans, and eating shrooms, and watching good movies, and talking about just my life, and like, uh, fighting battles in my head. And movies inspire your music a lot, right? Yeah, I love movies. What are some What are some must-watch films for you? Drive, Hereditary, this movie called Fallen Angels, uh, City of God, it's a Brazilian movie. That's probably my top right now. And how, how did you feel about the reception of Wish Me Well? Did you expect it to do as well as it did? Mm, not really. I was just excited that I got flown out here to make that. And then people really liked it. So it was cool. What's your favorite track off that project? My favorite? Devil Baby, probably. That was crazy. Because it mixes oldies, and I love oldies. What is, what is um, one influence that people would think is kind of like strange? Like what would, you, what would people not expect you to listen to? Speaker knockers? I don't know. You've right. covered them before, right? Yeah, but like people know me for making like rocky songs. Or maybe like, I don't know, probably speaker knockers are like um, Lil Jojo, R.I.P. So what's a typical studio session with Yawns like? Typical yawn session is uh, smoking weed and then I'll be playing video games or sometimes we'll both start a guitar thing and then we'll just like build from there and then I'll be like really picky and like I won't let him finish the beat if it's not like something I really love and then we just go from there and just like craft it. So yeah, do you normally freestyle or do you write your lyrics? Normally freestyle, but then rewrite it after. Cause I'm really like iffy on things, so I need it to be perfect. So I'll just go back to it. But I do like writing a lot, like that's my favorite. Do you, do you come with ideas already written? Not really. I just mostly talk about my day that day. And what's a typical day like for you? I can't say. It's, it's always like, different? Yeah, it's always some shit. So are you and Roscoe actually cousins? Yeah, it's my little cuz. So you grew up together and everything? Yeah, he's from Bellflower and I'm from Long Beach, but they're like sister cities. Because a lot of people, including myself, didn't know if that was like a, a running joke or if you were actually related. Nah, uh, yeah, we're both cousins, actually. Did you expect Eyes to be as popular as it was? Nah, we made that song really fast too, so I didn't even think of it to be like, create like the song, like the hit. I was just like, the song's really fun. But yeah, I didn't expect nothing from it. Here we are. I know, I love that song now too. What was shooting the video like? We shot at Tracy's place. Yeah, we went to Tracy's and then we drove around Broadway, like drove around bed in the car. Was Jans actually playing the guitar? Yeah, he was shredding, Jans was shredding. And then also when I first moved here, we shot war scenes, which is crazy because then it was like in summer and then like in winter we shot the uh, oh yeah like leather jacket scenes yeah oh word. So that was cool big time difference and where'd the gbc back come from fish nose right i don't know where it came from <laughs> it's fire it was a gift for fish oh uh, so how's jay doing jay has cool he's back in la like, he's chilling yeah just posted is he still producing um not too much just he'll only send beats to like certain artists he likes that's what's up. I've heard that you've been working on Good Morning Cruel World since last summer. Yeah. Um, which is a long time to work on a project. Yeah. And what of. what is what has been the uh, process like for that? Process for it is really just like because the whole album is like how 
life always comes with shit, like every other month, every other day, and you just gotta be like, good morning, cruel world. And so I just try to think about that and then write about like topics like that. So like trying to make a positive out of a negative world? Yeah, just like dealing with shit even though like no one knows what you're going through. Has has Jan's um, been producing most of it or is it a lot of different producers? It's all Jan's and like I sometimes help like write the guitar stuff or like I'll add things. Um, we got Justice from Angel Dust on a song playing oh, right. guitar and singing and then like probably one more secret nice. that I can't reveal. Is it, uh, is it done yet or are you still working on it? I'm still working on it just because I like to have extra Word. And then I'm gonna like pick the final ones. When are you planning on releasing it? Are you not sure yet? I'm not sure yet, really. That would be perfect. But it's a full length album. Right? Yeah, not an EP. Uh, I heard you were pretty bad at Tekken. Is that true? Tekken? Fuck no. I'm um, GBC King of Tekken. Who, who do you choose to play? King. King main. Cowboy King. That's who my character is. What's your favorite flavor of Jewel Pod? Mango. But. I guess they banned it, so yeah. now it's um, creme brulee. I've like grown to love this one. I don't that's know why. So you, everybody hates that one. I know that's why. What have you been listening to recently? Okay, so recently I've been listening to a lot of Jada Youngin, Cigarettes After Sex, uh, Blade, Party Next Door, and this band called Concrete Blonde. Concrete Blonde. And Sway Lee, and Blueface. Yeah, yeah, blue face baby. You like that type of stuff? Like, yeah, it reminds like me of home. He's very controversial for a lot of people right now. He just gives me confidence and like that I might be the next big thing. You already are. So you've been playing a lot of one-off shows all over the country. How's yeah. that been? It's pretty fun, but now I'm not doing that anymore. Like the last ones I did um, in the East Coast are like the last of them. Really? So are you are you gearing up for a tour? Are you ready for that? Yeah, ready for a tour. And I don't know, I feel like I've just done enough shows to where, like, I don't want to do them no more. Yeah. Unless it's, it's, like, important. Can we expect a tour sometime soon? Yeah, with the album. That I'm excited for. Not one-off, so. Yeah, definitely. What's been your favorite show you played that's, like, a one-off? The Brooklyn one I just did in Market Hotel was really crazy. With Zubin? Was it with Zubin? Yeah, it was super. but like, I brought the, like these little ten year old kids came with their mom, and I brought them on stage, and like they crowd surfed. That's fire. Yeah, that was probably the funnest one. So is a GBC project in the works? I've been hearing a lot of rumors about that. Mm, I'm not sure. You go and like have to just find out. Sounds good to me. So I know like, as a tattooed person getting asked what your favorite tattoo is is like a weird question but i'm curious as to what yours would be mm, my favorite tat probably like this one my most recent one the rose yeah it's just really bold and you actually do tattoos yourself right yeah but not really anymore i just like wanted to learn how to do it and like i'd rather focus on music but I will like tattoo certain people, just like as a rare thing. And cause I don't want to be like a tattooer musician. Like I never want to be like a skater musician or like something musician. Like I just want to be an artist. But yeah, I do tattoos too. And did my whole left hand. Yourself? Yeah. That's what's up. I was like 19 or 18. What What is the future for yourself looking like? It's, uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm making new shit that's like steering away from my older shit. And then I really want to focus on that and incorporate like more live um, instruments in my shows. And that's what I'm focusing on. In your in your live performances? Yeah. Like me or Jans or someone else playing instruments. 